Hello, I'm Gwen Griffin with Old World Foundation, and I'm here today with Chelsea Tagles, the Education Program Coordinator at Old World Wisconsin. In a typical year, Old World Wisconsin welcomes over 25,000 school-aged children or children to their site. Some come with their families and some come on a school-sponsored field trip. But of course, since the COVID pandemic started, on-site visits have been canceled or paused for now. Um, but Old World has been very creative, creative, and they have created three virtual field trips that have been very popular. So today we're going to talk to Chelsea a little bit about these field trips. Um, Chelsea, can you tell us about the three field trip options that are currently available? Of course. So uh, all three of our programs are about 45 minutes to an hour long, uh, depending on uh, technology and classroom size. Um, we're very flexible with each of our classes, whether they're in school or still virtual learning. Uh, they're all virtual and live programs, and uh, we meet on Zoom and Google Meet. So we like to be as flexible as possible. So our three programs are Immigrant Stories, where we look at two groups who immigrated here to Wisconsin, the Finns and the Hmong, and things like their general pushes and pulls to our state, as well as uh, the experiences of specific individuals from those communities. We also have School in One Room, where we uh, explore some everyday lessons that students would learn in a 19th century schoolhouse, very similar to our on-site experience, but instead of Raspberry School, 1900 Norwegian School, we visit an 1890s integrated school from Pleasant Ridge, Wisconsin. And finally, STEM on the Farm is a virtual version of our on-site program, Pioneer Power. And we head to the 1880s Pomeranian Farm, which is behind me, and we explore how farmers made work easier with their simple machines and animal power. And students get to see uh, and experience a little bit of um, coding skills and also our animals in action. Well, that's great. So obviously you're exploring more than just history um, with these programs. Which of those three uh, has been the most popular? Uh, it's a tough call between Immigrant Stories and School in One Room. I think Immigrant Stories uh, is a little bit more popular because, uh, but both of them fit really well into our Wisconsin teachers curriculum and are the type of experiences students and teachers expect uh, and enjoy about visiting Old World. That's great. So to date, how many schools um, and how many students have participated in this program? So since we launched last September, we've had about 80 programs uh, for 40 distinct schools. Some of that is different classes from the same school, and some classes uh, have booked multiple programs with us. So we've had over 2,500 individual students that we've reached. Wow, that's incredible. And um, where have these schools been located, cities and states? So all over Wisconsin, uh, we've gotten schools that are usually here on site. So within um, the 45 minute radius, we've also gotten ones that have never had a chance to visit from around Wisconsin. So that's been really exciting. A lot of kids saying how they hope this summer will be the first time they get to see it in person after seeing us virtually. Uh, but we've also have schools that are from outside the state. Um, so we had Columbus, Ohio, uh, and then also Decorah, Iowa, which is exciting because that's my college town. So it was fun to see kids from a, a place I've been. Well, that's the advantage with the virtual field trips. We, you can, there is no geographical limits. So that's great. So last year, the, um, the chair of the Old World Foundation Board of Trustees uh, issued a chair's challenge. And that was to focus our annual fundraising efforts um, for the virtual field trips for children's programming. So thanks to our supporters, we raised over $28,000 for these field trips. Um, and that means that there are subsidies available uh, for teachers and schools to be able to access these programs at no cost to them right now. So Chelsea, how would a teacher sign up for a field trip and apply for a subsidy? So for right now, we are doing it uh, here through our schools programs uh, coordinator. So teachers can call that number, it's 262-594-6311. They can also email OWW school tours 
at wisconsinhistory.org. But I encourage teachers to keep a lookout on our Facebook and our website because we have a brand new hub that's launching very soon. So they'll be able to uh, schedule field trips, not just with Old World Wisconsin, but all Wisconsin Historical Society sites uh, like the museum in Madison very soon, all on one site. That'll be great. That'll give um, teachers a lot more variety too. You know, if um, I'm assuming in the future you'll you you will um, maybe change up the programs and look at some some different uh, stories to explore, too, to keep people engaged. So. Yes, um, all of our programs are meant to be used either separately or in tandem with on-site programs. And as we go back to uh, launching our on-site again, we'll be changing up what we do virtually, uh, as well as for schools that we hope will come back every year, we'll be able to have new stories for them to explore. Well, that's great. Well, Chelsea, is there anything else you'd like to add about the program? Uh, just a couple of things. So um, we are so grateful for the Old World Foundation subsidies, uh, and those are uh, on a first come first um, serve basis. And we are filling up for the rest of the year. Uh, it's that time of year for teachers wanting to do a little end of the year field trip. So we encourage teachers to apply as soon as possible uh, for April, May and June. And we will be keeping this up. We're planning our on site programs for next school year, but we will still have virtual throughout the year. We'll be doing both. Um, so keep a look out on new programming if you haven't had a chance to have one of our current programs as well. Will the programs be available at all in the summer? We will not have programs in the summer since we will be focusing on our on-site experience. Uh, but the goal of virtual is that uh, like this past year and next year, we'll be going from uh, September through June. So winter time when we haven't been able to have on-site programs, we will have these virtual programs. And then we of course encourage uh, all students, teachers uh, while they're on their summer break to come see us uh, and our other staff in person. Great. Well, thank you for your time today, Chelsea. This was real informative. Um, and if anyone is interested in learning about how Old World Foundation funds educational initiatives at Old World Wisconsin, or if you're interested in supporting the animals or the gardens or historic preservation projects, um, please contact the Old World Foundation website, or you can send an email directly to me at griffin at friendsowww.org. So thank you again, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.